Welcome back to another episode of The Mix. I'm Phil Armijo, your master mixologist. And with me, as always, <laughs> the lovely Julie Smith. Thank you, Phil. Hi, everybody. Oh, Julie, we are sure in the thick of things for this <laughs> heat, huh? We definitely are. Good old Georgie heat. But you know what? I Ooh. welcome it with open arms. Bring it on. I love it, too. <laughs> what, what, so what do you do? Give us some ideas of things to do around town. Oh, my gosh. Some of my favorite things in the summer are, I would say, outdoor. Atlanta is great for rooftop pools. Oh. Yeah. You can oh, find yeah. that all over the city, but particularly in Midtown, and Buckhead, there are lots of them. There's so. so much fun. Yeah, Live lots music. of fun there, yeah. That would be a great place to bring the recipe that we're gonna teach you at home today how to make. Exactly. This would be a wonderful spot. Just sit outside that. and having a really good summer refreshing drink. Absolutely. I mean, I'm particular about that. I want something really crisp and cool. So when I think of summer, I always think of lemonade. That's just always oh, from childhood Classic. all the way through. We're gonna make a hand-muddled blueberry lemonade, but we're oh, gonna use that. some fresh ingredients. We're gonna use some blueberries, some mint, um, some simple yeah. syrup, and then we're gonna introduce you to one of the best whiskeys. Okay, of changing all time. it up a little bit, adding those right. extra ingredients. Well, you know, as I said, lemonade, of course, is a, a classic. It's a quintessential summer drink, but do you know where it began, where it became popular? Fun fact, here we of go. She does. <laughs> lemonade became popular in Paris, in France, uh, back in the early 1600s. So vendors would sell it in tanks on their back. You know how the guys at the baseball stadium sell beer that way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah get your cold beer here. Yeah? <laughs> like that, yeah. But they were saying it in <laughs> French, so they sounded much, much cooler than we do. Yeah, but, more, way more romantic. Oh, yeah, definitely. And it was three simple ingredients. It was lemon juice, sparkling water, and honey. That's it. So very simple, very fresh, and it became so popular in France that, get this, you're not going to see this coming, they were much less affected by the plague. The reason being is because there would be lemon peels all over the place. I guess, you know, I don't know if they were tossing them out the window or what. Hey, the lemon. <laughs> yeah, the rats were getting either into the garbage or just on the street, they'd find a lemon peel. They were eating all these lemon peels. The lemon peels had a chemical in them that kills fleas. It's still used to this day, actually. Wow. Yeah, so fleas are where the plague was coming from. So inadvertently, oh. while they were just enjoying this great summertime drink, they also helped ward off the plague compared to other other places. That's amazing. There you go. So not only is it life-saving, then <laughs> right. it's also gonna be super refreshing Tasty? today. Yeah. So introducing the Whistle Pig Piggyback Whiskey has okay. a pretty interesting story behind it as well. Um, the late founder, Dave Pickerall, actually set forth on an adventure to narrow down the mash bill, the aging, the proof, all of it, until he found that perfect taste profile yeah. that he wanted. We talked about the mash bill before. We did. If you guys yeah. have watched previous episodes about bourbon, Kentucky bourbon, all that good stuff, mm -hmm. we taught you about the mash bill. If you haven't seen it, go back and check it yeah. out. It's awesome. <laughs> um, anyway, this guy used 100% rye, which we learned was the spice yeah, that's gonna in that mash little, bill. Little yeah, it gives that a kick. So it's awesome because it stands alone on a, in a cocktail glass um, on the rocks but it also gives us bartenders room to play. And you said we're gonna add the blueberries and the mint into that, so that's perfect timing, Phil, because it is blueberry season here in Georgia. Is it? Yeah, definitely. We have so many great pick-your-own blueberry farms Book here. Book of knowledge. I am just all the fun stuff. I'm all about it, yeah. We have great pick-your-own blueberry farms here, uh, one of them being Vines Blueberry Farm in Waynesboro, Georgia, and that's a great family outing or a day out with your friends. Yeah, you're right, so you bring home the freshest, most organic ingredients of all time to make one of the most delicious drinks that you'll make all year. Perfect. Are you ready for this? Uh, I am always ready. Born ready. Let's okay, go. Okay, let's it. get it. So you want to start <laughs> off with the big shaker first because we need a lot of room in there. We got some work to do in there today. All right. All right. You're gonna want one full lemon, one full mint sprig, and you're gonna want a half a cup of fresh blueberries. So I'm just gonna cut this lemon in half, real easy the use, run of the mill. Right. And then I'm gonna ream it. Now why are you doing that versus a juicer that you normally well, use? Well, this is something okay. new and also look how much juice I'm getting out of this. Actually, thing. and if I'm not mistaken, you're getting a little more of the, the I don't know what you call it, the meat? I did, you want this, you want, and you don't, who cares about the seeds and everything else in there at this point, it's not gonna make a big difference because we're gonna filter it all out here in yep. a minute. So next we want to use the mint, and you can throw the whole thing in there. I suggest breaking up at least a few of the leaves just to open up that mint flavor. Mm -hmm. Half cup of blueberry. Next I'm going to do one ounce of this yummy simple syrup. A little bit of sweetness there. Homemade lemonade there. Next, get you a muddler. The idea is just to crush all of this in there together. Okay. And as you push, 
Turn and grind and mix it. Mix it all together. Yeah, just like, crush Phil's the crushing the blue. You crush everything, oh. blueberries included. I'm just. Uh, I love her. That's what he does. Now we have the magic. Two ounces of our whistle pig piggyback. Whistle pig piggyback. I told you I just like saying it. <laughs> then I'm going to add about a half a tin of crushed ice. Because it's summertime, it's hot what? out there. While I'm here, I'm gonna add about three quarters of a glass of crushed ice to our rocks glass. I love Perfect. that glass, by the way. Yeah, it's beautiful, Pretty. isn't it? So now, we just wanna give it our typical shake to where we kind of get this really nice and cold and yeah. start to see that yep. frost. You've been teaching us how to get our shake on. That's right. <laughs> I've been practicing, I just don't, I still don't look as cool as you do. <laughs> Doing that. Man shake. Part of the show though. That's right. Right? And then, so traditionally, I would tell you guys to go ahead and flip this over and use this as your strainer. Not, Not for, for this, this one? one? You wanna actually probably use this one. I mean, you can try, but you're gonna be picking some stuff out of your teeth if you oh, do gotcha. that Oh, gotcha, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we wanna be able to. Oh, Phil, look at that color. I'm just gonna do one nice, simple little mint yep. leaf on this end. Easy peasy. And then I'm gonna do a couple blueberries on the top, just for good measure. And that's it. And that is it. So here we Bring go, Miss Julie you, Smith. Phil. I love watching you enjoy. <laughs> Thank the you so part much. Of the show as Phil, usual. Cheers. cheers, cheers, everyone. Let's see what we got here. The whiskey in there, I can taste it, but it's not overwhelming and overpowering. So it's perfect. This is a perfect summertime refreshing drink. It's got a lot of flavor to it, though. I'm bringing Piggy <laughs> back. Pig? Yep. Ready. Oh, one more. Dang it. Uh, dang it. <laughs> yeah. It. Hey, Julie, I'm gonna go downstairs real quick and see if there's any more blueberries. <laughs> Thanks for surviving the plague with us over here today, guys. If you want some more drink <laughs> recipes or some more awesome ideas, please visit us at themixga.com. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe by clicking the link below. Cheers, y'all.